What is going on YouTube? Tamagotchi here, and we have a shoutcast from Barrick Salgado, who is another YouTube content creator. I'll leave a link down in the description below for his YouTube content. He does amazing videos, uh, unboxing Pokemon cards, and also doing Pokemon Go battle. So go make sure to go check out his channel. He is rocking a very spicy team of Lantern, Double Shadow in the back, Charizard and my champ, the absolute champ beast of a monster. So hopping into the first battles, lantern mirror match. Definitely very uncomfortable because it all really all depends if you are gonna win CMP tie or not. Going straight for the Thunderbolt, winning the CMP tie, absolutely amazing. Landing it, that is great. You definitely don't want to see this lantern on your Charizard. A champ can handle it. But Lantern is so bulky that it might just out bulk them a champ. Even though it is shadow and it does a lot of damage, Lantern has the bulk to it to contend with it. Going for the Surf there, I think that was a bait. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think the Surf was the right call. But hey, going for another Surf. If you just would have went for another Thunderbolt, that would have either got you shield advantage or taken out the lantern. You do get the shield advantage, which is quite nice. I would let your lantern go down here, come in with Shadow Machamp, get a nice farm down. But chances are there are there's going to be a Medicham and there's probably gonna be a Noctowl. There's the Noctowl. Um, you can go rock slide, but I think I would have baited with the crosh up here. They're probably gonna shield this up. They do. Now you swap right into your Charizard. You have two shields and a two shielded Charizard should just about be everything but a Bastion. So let's see what happens here. Gonna shield up that first Sky Attack. Gonna throw this Blast Burn. This is gonna be doing left, right, good night, Noctowl. And out comes a Drapion. All you have to do is get to a Blast Burn. Charizard is gonna be sweeping this game grab your brooms everybody because this is gonna be left right good night drapeon and that's a good game well played by this trainer hopping into the next matchup here lantern absolutely sleep what do you come in with here you come in with a machamp and that is unfortunate because now you have to get to these rock slides and they are going to be outpacing because you swapped in to the frenzy plant gonna be expending a shield because that would definitely one shot you out comes a lantern and this is absolutely perfect now because you have energy advantage and you can just throw out these cross shops get this into a range where i don't think i would expend a shield here this is just a surf oh okay you are going to expend a shield so now you're two shields down and a Shadow Charizard with no shields is usually a dead Charizard. But let's see how this plays out. You're going to get the shield back. Going on the CMP tie there. Absolutely amazing. Probably going to be getting the last shield here. Because the opponent probably wants to take switch advantage. Honestly, maybe catching a Surf on Lancer might have been the call. Spanking that uh, cross drop for later. But this is okay too. Because now you have your Lantern. You can probably spark all the way down. There's really no need in saving as much health as you can. For the lantern and even i might even come in with charizard here get a nice little wing attack farm down because they're probably going to bring in that venusaur and your energy is kind of useless against that venusaur thunderbolt will do a decent amount of damage um they're going to throw the thunderbolt here they're going to swap right away and it is a wall rain and they are just going to outpace you to the ice school spear it's five powder stones to the ice school spear seven to the blast burn as you see there, that sneak through was six. Gonna build up a little bit more. Throw this blast burn. I don't know if this is enough to KO. Wall rain is quite bulky. It is left right good night, Wall Rain. And able to get to the Dragon Claw, clutching the win. Shadow Charizard with the broom again. GG's. That is absolutely amazing. We're gonna be hopping into the next match here. Lantern versus Altaria right where you want to see the Altaria this is a great matchup Altaria does have a winning matchup but it does have to land the Moonblast the only reason why Altaria has a winning matchup is because of the sheer damage of Dragon Breath Dragon Breath absolutely chunks and if you can land a Thunderbolt though it could be a nice switch up here I would shield this they're probably not going to bait 
that is a great shield moon blast would do a lot of damage and look at the dragon bath damage it's just absolutely adding up this would be a good scenario where you could bait with the surf because they're probably going to end up shielding this but they don't let right good night altaria in comes a victory bell oh my gosh in comes a shadow charizard and is it a oh it's an azumarill in the back what do you do here going for a blast burn trying to get off maximum damage now you're bringing in the machamp you get it to a range where you can rock slide this thing but do you want to expend the shield on the player off it's just an ice beam get baited absolutely terrible oh that is so bad didn't matter though you kind of have to shield up the shadow machamp ice beam would probably do a lot of damage getting the nice bait off with the cross shop going for another cross shop on cmp tie that was great timing was does your opponent know this is just another cross shop they do not both shields are down now you have to do correct timing here play rough comes through left right good night machamp out comes a victory bell Ooh, is this an acid spray or a leaf blade leaf blade is double resisted but this is a victory bell leaf blade almost knocks you out can you farm down you can't quite farm down and unfortunately your shadow charizard is going to take one bubble and ko just not enough in the tank if you could have farmed down that victory bell got to a blast burn that would have been amazing but unfortunately it is what it is upping into the next match Pretty bad lead considering this is the Spark Lantern. I mean, Surf does hit su super effective damage, but it's just not enough raw damage compared to the Mudshot and Earthquake combo. So it's eight to the Earthquake, five to their Rock Slide. Is this the Earthquake or the Rock Slide? Gonna respect the Earthquake and that's an absolutely beautiful shield. Gonna go for another Surf here. Probably going to be getting the shield at this point, what I would assume so. Oh, they don't shield. Come in with a champ and snipe them down. Absolutely amazing. All that energy gone to waste. But out comes a Sableye. And honestly, just go for the rock side tier. Yep, don't while they're baiting. You want to get the shield, even up shields, and you do have some energy. Oh my gosh, they no shield that. The freaking Mad Lad. Out comes a Frostlass going for another rock slide does the opponent respect the rock slide this time they do even up shields and you can actually get to a cross shop if they decide to farm down but they do not farm down so this is quite good make them expend their energy they are probably almost at a second avalanche but i would come in with yes come in with lantern make them either spend a shield or expend their shadow ball shadow ball is not gonna ko you that does not ko either Take the Shadow Ball. This is definitely going to be the Shadow Ball. Whew, that does a lot of damage. So can you farm down? Yes, you can. Absolutely beautiful. You have a Surf locked and loaded. But from here, I would just save your shields for Shadow Charizard and Wing Attack down. Foul Play coming in. That's going to take out. And look at the Wing Attack damage. This is just going to say, yeah. And the opponent goes down with a shield. Absolutely beautiful gameplay there. I do believe this is the last match of the set here. Alolan Ninetales. Is this Powder Snow or Charm? Let's see. It is Charm. So it's a good thing you're not seeing the Machamp on, on this uh, Charm Alolan Ninetales. It would absolutely eat it up. And Lantern does have a winning matchup. Thunderbolt just does absolutely so much damage. And um, this is probably going to be a Psy Shock. Do you shield this up? nope no shield you can survive but two about three charms will take you i would have done one more spark there just so you had that extra spark damage and uh, another charm would not have snuck through I'm gonna come in with shadow charizard out comes a swampert and oh this 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 is not good <laughs> not good i mean you do have two shields up and the blast burn absolutely rocks the swampert you can shield this farm down and let's see what's in the back let's go oh my gosh that blast burn does so much damage respect it people you have to respect the blast burn because that is insane gonna try to go for the farm down you get the farm down the opponent quits the match gg's absolutely amazing well done
beautiful, beautiful games there. So thank you so much for sending in these. I really appreciate it. I love doing these shoutcasts. If you have your own battles, there is a link down in the description below to send in your own battles. There's also going to be a link in the description for his channel. So make sure you go check out his channel because he's a great content creator. So thank you all so very much. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Comment if you want to see anything in the future. And you know what? Subscribe because we are doing a giveaway if we hit a thousand subscribers i'm going to be giving away two two subscribers will be getting um the go fest ticket on me so i will gift you guys the go fest ticket all you have to do is like subscribe comment so i know you are subscribed and you will be winning a go fest ticket when we reach the 1k subscriber potentially so thank you all so very much i'll see you all in the next video